All right, so I just got back from watching Fly Me to the Moon, a historical rom-com starring Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum. Uh, this came out uh, earlier this past Friday. I was on a bit of a hiatus being on a uh, vacation, but I'm back and I was finally able to watch it. And I have to say, I was looking forward to this movie because I like history and it's an historical movie about, you know, NASA trying to launch rockets to the moon, get a man on the moon, all that good stuff. Uh, but that sort of plays as a backdrop to this romantic comedy slash drama story. So I was interested to see how those two things fit together. And I'm happy to say they fit together pretty well. Uh, I don't think this is an absolutely amazing movie. It's not going to set any records. It's probably not even going to make that much money. Uh, it didn't make that much money this weekend. But I enjoyed it because it does what it's trying to do really well. It's trying to be an entertaining, funny, sweet rom-com movie that is also a period piece of, you know, the 60s and uh, a cool story of seeing these people try to get man on the moon while also being kind of tongue-in-cheek about it, but also serious. There's a bit of a tonal whiplash, we'll get to that, but I think it does most things really well. It's not going to win any awards, it's not going to blow anybody's mind, but if you know what you're signing up for, a fun, you know, kind of cozy rom-com that's not really breaking any new ground, but is entertaining and fun, and the romance is, you know, pretty, you know, um, it's easy to follow. You can re root for these characters. You don't necessarily hate anybody in this movie. Uh, it's a good time. It's uh, not revolutionary, like I said, but it's a fun time at the movies. I think this is a good date night movie if, you know, both parties involved, like historical things like the moon, they're interested in that. That doesn't turn them off. And, you know, they like comedy and, you know, a romantic uh, plot going on there. I think this could be a good date night movie. Um, the actor, main actors, Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum, they're all really good. Channing Tatum is playing a role that I never quite pictured him playing. It's more of a scientist, serious type role. I do like him better when he's doing comedic stuff. I thought he was really good in The Lost City and other movies like that. But he wasn't bad in this role. Uh, it's just not my favorite role for him, but he wasn't bad. He didn't ruin the movie or anything. And Scarlett Johansson is great, as always. I've been watching her since I was like 10. She's awesome, as she always is. Uh, there's a good supporting cast around here, too. As far as historical accuracy, I don't think this movie is really trying to be too historically accurate. And you can, if you know anything about the moon landing, you watch this movie and you'll be able to tell, okay, this really happened. This probably did not happen. And there's a bunch of stuff in this movie, especially in the second half, that probably did not happen. I don't know. I didn't do a lot of research, but I could tell that this seems kind of outlandish. But again, the movie's not trying to be that type of movie. There's other, you know, more serious historical biopic movies if you want to see a more accurate representation. Lots of documentaries too, honestly, about the moon landing and whatnot. This movie is just strictly for entertainment value. It does have some drama moments, not super heavy, but there is some serious moments where it's not all just fun and games. And it can be somewhat jarring to go from goofiness to seriousness and then back to goofiness. I thought the movie handled it fairly well. Um, but again, I think some people might be a bit jarred by the tonal whiplash that was there. Not necessarily for me, but I could see it being there for other people. Um, also, I do think the movie is a little too long, just a smidge. Uh, it's over two hours by like 12 minutes. So it's not necessarily a short movie, uh, and I think the movie, it feels like it's wrapping things up, and then it keeps going for like another 20 minutes or so, and it's all entertaining, but it's a little exhausting when you feel like the movie's gonna finish, and then it, it doesn't, and there's more. It's like, okay. Um, but that's not a huge complaint. I really had a good time with this movie. I might be in the minority here, but I enjoyed it. It was better than I thought it was gonna be, looking at the reviews, and I had a good time. So if you're interested, Fly Me to the Moon is currently in theaters right now, and you can go ahead and check it out.